Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video is a review video. I'm going to be reviewing the Mokosh More Than Your Skin Certified Organic Skincare Range which is so exciting. I always love to try out new skincare. I'm such a big fan of like of course natural organic products. You guys know me I am a very like conscious person on like in terms of like what I put on my skin I'm always conscious if it's natural like what it's full of if it's full of chemicals or toxins and things like that like I try and stay away from those things and I'm definitely more driven towards the like natural beauty range of things anywho I'm really really excited to try out the Mokosh certified organic skincare range because they're also eco-friendly I believe like all their packaging like the whole thing that it came with it's all eco-friendly. I can recycle all of it. There's tissue paper, cardboard, like everything. I haven't found a single bit of plastic, which is fantastic. So this brand uses 100% certified organic, strictly free of preservatives and other synthetic ingredients and is made using pure ethically sourced botanicals. So their formulations are designed to deliver pure concentrated nutrition to your skin, restore its natural balance and promote a return to its natural radiant state so it's trying to get it back to kind of self-regulating it says here that this like our skin is self-regulating so they know that our bodies respond with health to a balanced whole food diet the same is true for our skin delivering the right nutrients without the synthetics we've become accustomed to in skincare will allow your skin to become truly healthy combining knowledge from modern science and ancient Ayurvedic traditions sorry I can't pronounce that word our products tend to the root causes of skin imbalances, restoring the skin's equilibrium so it can use its innate intelligence to take care of itself. They believe that your skin type is not fixed, it changes with your diet, your hormonal state, the seasons and your time of life. We believe that learning to tune into your skin's changing needs is empowering. You will soon discover that a small number of well formulated products is all you need for a healthy, radiant skin. And then they've got like a skin match option on your, their website. So if you want to kind of answer a few questions, it'll tell you where you're best suited to what products and things like that. I have been getting a bit of like um, redness on my cheeks here, like itchiness and dryness. So hopefully, hopefully that'll help, especially heading into the winter months now. My skin gets quite dry with like the wind and the chill and everything. So this will be, this will be a great time to try it out. So like I'm keen. I'm keen. So as you guys can see, I'm not wearing any makeup, but I will show you like a close-up of my skin. I have a bit of congestion on my chin and like kind of jawline area. I don't know why, I just get a bit of congestion around there, as well as on my forehead too. Um, those are my kind of trouble areas at the moment. I'm really happy with how my skin is going, but I'm never going to turn down a chance to improve it. So without further ado, I guess let's jump into the products. So they've given me... A few things actually. I've got the ultimate nutritious starter pack for dry and mature skin. So inside you get a facial cleanser, exfoliator and mask, pure hydrosal toner, raspberry and pomegranate beauty serum and a rich face cream. So it says here on the back their products are formulated to protect, nourish and cleanse the skin. They're Certified organic, not tested on animals, and certified palm oil free, which is so great. Oh, I love that. So they've also given me a couple extra of like the facial cleanser, exfoliator, and mask here. It's got aloe vera, meadow sweet, and pomegranate. So it comes with a little piece of paper here. I don't know if you can see. And it says, important, this powder must be kept completely dry. Any contact with water will cause spoilage. So you store in just like a moisture-free, dry place, you know. So this is the powder, that face mask. So you must like put some in a bowl, mix it together, and then just paint it on your skin. Again, I'm going to show you a trial run of this. So the benefits of this little face mask here is that it's a daily all-in-one cleanser, exfoliator, and mask powder. And it's rich in nutrients and contains hydroxy acids known to promote healthy cell turnover and boost collagen. Oh. Keep skin clarified, resilient and receptive to our nutrient rich moistures. Rises? Moisturizes? Sorry. And it's formulated for all skin types. 
and that should help promote cell turnover and boost collagen how amazing is that that's so cool okay so here we've got the makeup remover and cleansing oil this rich oil derives its complex color from its high pro vitamin a concentration leaving skin deeply cleansed and nourished and it's for all skin types as well so the makeup remover and cleansing oil has pumpkin seed baobab and jojoba here is the elderberry chia seed beauty serum so the benefits of this elderberry and chia seed beauty serum is that it's a blend of natural oils to help normalize the sebum levels which is like the oil that's produced in your skin natural oil so it helps reduce inflammation and deliver potent cell supporting nutrients to produce healthy radiant skin and finally here we have the face cream so the light face cream with sea buckthorn borage and chia seed it smells heavenly oh my god it's got like a light natural kind of floral sweet fragrance it smells delicious i could actually eat that it smells so good okay let's dig into the four products in the ultimate nutritious starter pack this one like i said is for dry and mature skin it's formulated with 100 percent certified organic ingredients inspired by ayurveda and infused with modern science for the ultimate in skin nutrition isn't the packaging just gorgeous oh so here we have our four products all in the box and they're so neatly packaged whoops i just pushed this one out in their little spot so as you guys can see i showed you before they've listed the product and it tells you here what each one does so for the facial cleanser and exfoliated mask that one cleanses the skin the pure hydrosal toner balances the skin the raspberry and pomegranate beauty serum nourishes the skin and then the rich face cream protects the skin so it kind of seals it all in so i'm going to kind of just show you the trial run like i'll run you through what i've done and then in a couple weeks when i come back and kind of show you guys the update i'm going to let you know what i did because i'm not sure yet how i'm going to go about it like if i will use this or if i'll just stick to these you know i am curious to see how that makeup cleanser like that makeup remover and cleanser goes because i have been breaking out a lot when i've been wearing makeup um that's me i need to be more thorough with my cleansing but i just want to see how this goes in helping you remove that excess stuff that really gets clogged in your pores so yeah i'm keen like do you guys just see that redness there like i hope it helps with the dry and itchiness which i've been getting on my skin we'll see i think this would help a lot actually for the dry and mature skin not that my skin's like mature i'm 23 but the dryness should help going into winter i'm even curious to just try this out another time and just stick with the first products i was given and then review this for you guys later like i said i'll tell you in a couple weeks when i figure out what i'm gonna do but for now this is how my skin's looking i'll update you guys soon okay guys so first things first to get into this cleansing routine you're going to want to dampen your face with some water then we're next going to go in with the facial cleanser exfoliator and mask with aloe vera meadow sweet and pomegranate so basically what you're going to do is add one teaspoon of powder and then add probably about a teaspoon of water into a bowl i actually added a little bit too much water to this mixture i feel like it was a little bit too runny i like it to be a bit more of a paste rather than kind of like a liquid per se so basically i'm going to just mix it round in the water until it's nice and well combined then we're going to apply it with our hands to our face so i find that i apply it a little bit at a time works better than trying to just kind of put the whole thing on at once um it is a little bit messy so that did was a bit of a deterrent for me at the beginning like i felt like oh like i'd rather just something out of the bottle so sometimes i would just use the makeup remover and cleanser rather than than just this cleanser itself because i did find like the mess was a bit annoying but i have to say like this facial mask cleanser is amazing for like exfoliating the skin making my skin feel super duper cleansed and healthy i do like it more than the makeup remover one i just find the makeup remover one a little bit more convenient so i do go between the two sometimes um, if you're going to make a face mask out of this you're going to want to apply the mask to your skin for 15 to 20 minutes 
I just massaged the cleanser into my skin for about three minutes. So if you're doing a mask, you just let it sit there for a little bit longer. Whereas when I'm just cleansing my skin, I will just massage it in for about three minutes or so. And girl, it just gives such a beautiful glow. Like my skin just looks radiant and healthy afterwards. That's why I really do love this cleanser. For the makeup remover and cleanser, uh, you only want to apply this after you've kind of semi-removed your makeup. So I usually go in with coconut oil first and just kind of like remove the top layer of makeup from my face. Then I'll go in and gently cleanse my skin with this makeup remover and cleanser afterwards. Just kind of massage it in for a minute or so. It says here massage for about three minutes. I do sometimes depending how lazy I am. Um, and then I'll just kind of rinse it off with my face halo. So I'm next going to take the elderberry and chia seed beauty serum and apply this all over the skin after we've cleansed it. You need to apply about three to four drops. You can apply it in your hands. I actually apply it directly to my face and just massage it in gently till it's nice and covered and kind of soaked in. For the facial moisturizer, you're li literally gonna wanna just apply the tiniest, tiniest amount of this. You really don't need too much. Uh, I use about a pea size amount. Uh, I learned the hard way that you don't need too much with this because it does leave like an oily residue to your skin. So a little bit goes a long way with this and I just apply it all over my face and neck as well. And that is the finished cleansing routine. Super straightforward and easy. And I'm loving how my skin is looking at the moment with it. So guys, this is the two week update. So I've been using the Makosh skincare. I actually ended up only using the green serum. So I actually haven't touched the dry mature skin one like I was debating about before. So if you guys do want me to actually do a skincare review on the dry and mature skincare package, I can do that for you in a later date. So at the beginning, I said like with the congestion, that was a huge issue. It's still there at the moment. I don't know how it'll be in a few weeks, but at the moment I am noticing like this congestion like around here is still kind of present. Um, breakouts... Uh, I still have, but I haven't been eating the best and that always triggers my skin to break out. Um, so I don't think the skincare is like, you know, magic. It's not going to like stop my skin from breaking out if I haven't been looking after myself, unfortunately. Um, skin irritation. I've had no skin irritation to these products at all, which is so good. Like they are all natural, but sometimes, you know, my skin can be a bit annoying and irritate anyway. Um, so I've been really lucky in that sense. And I feel like the redness here has died down. Like I had a bit of redness up along here. Oh, that's just from a sunburn I got yesterday. Don't worry about that bit there. But majority, the redness has dulled down a lot more. Yes. Um, sorry, I have like little notes here that I'm reading. Uh, crater scars and things. Let's see. Uh, you can still see those crater scars. I mean, in the sense they're actually... God, actually, they look really good. They're not too, too intense or visible, which is actually so good. And overall color and redness in my skin, like I said, it's dulled down a lot, I feel, on my cheeks. Um, oiliness to my skin. I don't think the skincare has made my skin extra oily. And because it is kind of like an oil base, I feel like that actually settles down my oils on my skin a lot more. So, like, I notice if I wear makeup for long periods of time, like, my oils will start to, like, eat away at the makeup. But what I found with, you know, the last few weeks after using the skincare and then I'll put my makeup on top, it, I don't get that, like, oil kind of breaking through the makeup after, like, you know, a fair, a fair few hours. But still, I thought that was a little win. <laughs> and, yet yeah, the skincare gives the most beautiful glow to my skin, like I was saying before. Honestly, like, after I used it for the first time, I was like, honestly, like, my skin looks amazing. Otherwise, guys, this is how my skin's going so far. Hopefully, the breakouts will die down. We'll see. Hey, guys. So, this is, uh, I think this is the five-week mark, actually. So, I'm a week after then. I said I would be, sorry. But that gave me an extra week to review the skincare for you. So it works out in the end. So first things first, the review, I have to say that my congestion has gone down so, so much. I was saying in the last couple, like I still had the congestion build up and everything, but I was really religious 
with the skincare because I did want it to like I did want to give you guys like the best review possible so I need to like be strict to myself and actually like review it like properly daily you know see if I see any change and things like that I am really happy with how my skin is going um, I'm still a little bit oily and things but that's just my skin type I think like I think that's just what I'm like so I am really happy that the congestion has gone down in my uh, like jawline region especially here like I get the most congestion here and also forehead I feel like the forehead congestion has gone down so much which I'm so happy with um, breakouts I have been really good lately I haven't been getting many breakouts which is awesome because I have been so religious with my skincare and I've also been eating well I always find those two just go together so well for me like if I'm looking after myself eating well and then skincare kind of thing like my skin usually holds up all right for me and it's done really well so it's better than all right I'm happy about that I haven't had much skin irritation or anything like I said my skin isn't irritating to the actual skincare which is so good and I haven't had like redness um, or anything like that on my cheeks like I get kind of red along here usually but I haven't been getting that which is awesome and on my nose too so that's been that's been awesome and uh, yeah if you guys want me to do like an extra update maybe in like another month time months time let me know and let me know if you've tried this uh, skincare brand and what your experience was with it as well I'm always curious to know other people's reviews and experiences otherwise guys Otherwise, guys, thanks for sticking through to the end. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.